now the fourth one is abstract noun so we will see the definition abstract noun it is the name given to a quality an action or a state now what are the qualities honesty patience politeness bravery cruelty generosity etc so we always say honesty is the best policy then patience we say we should have patience politeness when we talk with uh, our elders we should talk politely then bravery we should be brave hmm? we should be not cruel so such type of which such type of word which have some quality is called abstract noun then is action arrival journey laughter etc so he arrived how was his journey journey means from one place to other when we go that is called journey laughter laughter when we laugh so laughter always makes us happiness if we don't laugh we will have only sorrow in our life so like that this is action words then is state anger kindness childhood youth poverty adolescent etc anger state angry we say kind kindness child childhood so such type of words when they come in a sentence we can we will easily make out that these are the abstract noun next the abstract noun can be made by adding the endings see if any word is given if common word is given or verb is given or an adjective is given and if we add ending to that word for example n e w s m e n t m e n t s i o n a n c e e n c e t h t i o n h t s h i p h o d i s m c y l e d g i c e d o m to the words so in if we add this word this ending to the given word it will become an abstract noun so in some cases the ending words have to be omitted to add the above ending so there are some words in which the ending word we have to omit and add the given ending so here are some common nouns friend abstract noun of friend will come friendship king kingship boy boyhood faith faithfulness child childhood thief theft so here we have removed omitted i and last we have added t to this word hero hero heroism women womanhood next is verb advice so in place of s we will write c that also sound advice only think now think is a verb and the abstract noun of think is thought act action discover discovery obedient obey obey obedient so here we will remove this y and add to this word d i e n c e obedient no knowledge l e d g e this word we have this ending we have added so it became knowledge defend so we will omit this d and add to this word the ending ce it will become defense then is hate hatred so in will remove will omit this e and add to this ending word the ending r e d then is choose it will become choice live life die debt believe 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 
forgive forgiveness laugh laughter arrive arrival so this these are the verbs next is there are some adjective and adjective words given so the uh, for this adjective word angry it will become anger so this is anger is a abstract noun then free freedom young youth generous generosity silent silence beautiful beauty kind kindness cruel cruelty high height dishonest dishonesty broad broad breadth true truth wise wisdom intelligent intelligence bold boldness so these are some verbs common noun and adjective na adjective words which we have made abstract noun out of this word now let's see the fifth one material noun now what is the definition of material noun it is the name given to the matter or substance of which a thing is made i gold iron mercury wood silver etc so these are all material noun now the sixth one is noun can be classified as countable and uncountable noun now let's see what are the countable noun they are noun that can be counted in a singular or a or the plural form all common and collective noun or are countable noun so countable noun are those that these are those noun which can be counted whether it singular form or plural form we have learned singular and plural also man men girl girls like this so all common and collective nouns are countable noun example child pencil books class window ocean flowers etc so these are all countable noun how many pencils are there in a compass how many books are there in your bag how many class classes are there of sixth standard how many windows are there in your house so like that these are all what countable noun now let's see uncountable noun they are noun that cannot be counted they are always used in singular number all proper abstract and material noun are uncountable noun so whatever are material noun abstract noun proper noun is what they are so they are uncountable noun for example india bravery snow honesty silver copper winds etc this will be in singular form only in singular number we cannot write these words in plural form so we know very well what is proper noun a name given to a particular place animal thing so particular play word is given so that is proper noun abstract noun just now only we have seen and material noun we have seen so these are all what count uncountable noun so here for your homework i give you some exercise write it in your notebook these definitions also you have to write along with the example and the given homework also you have to do on your own identify the nouns and classify them as countable and uncountable noun he had a vast empire a very strong army and an untold wealth i have got a long white neck brown wings tall yellow legs and a black cap on my head my wife protect the egg from all of them 
all the spectator clapped and boosted the morale of both the team the star player of class 9 they were full of confidence there was once a very conceited peacock which had a gorgeous tail a domain had stolen all the water in the world he wove the beautiful fabric and sarees it is believed to be the loudest sound that man has ever heard the eruption caused giant waves or tsunami in the sea near the island all the surrounding island and coast were covered with hot ash we get them in attractive packets or pouches i am reading because you will be able to understand how the words are pronounced and how the spelling is written her father was in dis- despair above all he had dark piercing eyes which looked straight at the opponent she had just re- re- released her husband from her captivity i invite you to see my land of lush hills share cliffs sharing lakes and waterfall my people will welcome you with warmth and courtesy antonio was waiting for his ships to return with merchandise the young scientists began their work in earnest for several days in succession he ate barely a grain of rice but on one long afternoon milo suddenly received a huge parcel with a bright blue envelope attached to one side you shall have your sword soon sword sooner than you think merlin appeared before them a hooded figure with bright shining eyes and a bewitching smile the entire assemblage watched in a author inserted the sword in the anvil and drew it out effortlessly so these 25 sentences i have given from this you have to uh, identify which are countable noun and which are uncountable noun and the abstract noun material noun and countable uncountable noun i have definition along with examples i have given this all you have to write in your english grammar notebook and do, do your submission uh, homework submission on my whatsapp number have a good day thank you so much